Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Andrew Schwepka. Andrew Schwepka, and I'm here today. I'm very excited to be here, and I'm here to talk to you about goals. Very specifically, I'm here to talk to you about how it is you can set and achieve your goals. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to talk to you about three principles. Three principles that if you start to adopt them in your life, I believe are going to help you achieve your goal. And so, just by show of hands, is there anyone in here that has some goals? Okay? That's good. Okay? Brian Tracy, who literally wrote the book on goals, here's what he says. He says, your ability to set goals is the master skill of success. Your ability to set goals is the master skill of success. We're going to talk about what that means. Here's what I would add to it. What it truly is is your ability to set and achieve goals. That's the master skill of success. It's going to help you achieve the level of success that you're looking for. A lot of people can set goals. It's a whole different story to actually go out there and achieve them. Here's why all this is important to you. Is there anyone in here that's maybe looking for that next promotion or that next raise at work by show of hands? Okay. How about relationships? Proving your relationships, whether it be with your spouse, your children, whatever the case may be, just having better relationships. Is that a goal for anyone? What about physical well-being? Anyone can relate to that? Okay. Improving your physical well-being, that's a goal for many of us, specifically around January 1st of every year, that New Year's resolution that by January 15th most of us forgot about. Okay. The principles I'm going to talk to you about today can help you achieve whatever it is your goals are. Here's what I need to do to get this started. I want you to spend just 30 seconds, just 30 seconds of your time writing down your top three goals, the first thing that pops in your head when I say top three goals, 30 seconds, ready, begin. Okay, time's up, pens down, pencils down. Writing down your top three goals. That was the first exercise, and here's why that first exercise was so important, because principle number one, principle number one is write down your goals. You gotta write them down. A lot of people keep them up here in their head, and what I would tell you is that's just not good enough. You gotta write it down. I wanna tell you a story about a Harvard MBA study that they did. In 1979, they interviewed the graduates of Harvard MBA, okay, and they asked them a series of questions. Here's what they said. Do you have clearly defined, articulated goals that are written down? Okay, 84% said no, not really, other than maybe just graduating. Okay, another 13%, they said yes, I've got clearly defined, articulated goals, just not written down. Okay, and then that last 3%, they took the time to clearly define, articulate them, and then write them down. 10 years later, 1989, they followed up with that group of individuals. Here's what they found. The 84% didn't really have goals besides graduating, we're doing okay. All right, they were making a living. The 13% though that had clearly defined articulated goals made about twice as much as the other 84%. Okay, it's pretty good. But that last 3%, here's what they found with that. That last 3% that took the time to clearly define and articulate their goals and then write them down, they made 10 times more than that other 97% combined. Okay, so principle number one, very important, you write them down. Principle number two, work on them. And this may sound like I'm stating the obvious, because I am, okay? But what it is is that critical action step that all too often people don't do. Again, it's the difference between not just setting goals, but then achieving them. And to achieve them, you've got to work on them. To achieve the goals you've never achieved before, you must be willing to do the things you've never done before. And that just makes sense. Okay, if anyone tells you you can have it all, here's what I want you to do. Run. Run away from that person that I'm telling you they're trying to deceive you. You can't have it all and that's okay. okay. You cannot be the individual that's going out all night partying and drinking it, uh, during the week, trying to show for work at peak performance to get that raise promotion. You're not going to do both those things. You're not going to be the individual that ignores your spouse or children and then have great relationships with them. Okay, You can't do that. You're not going to be the individual that has good physical fitness but you don't exercise and you eat whatever you want. Okay, You can't have it all. If someone tells you to try to do that, Again, my advice to you is just run. Okay, principle number one was write them down. Principle number two was work on them. Principle number three was make them smart. By show of hands, has anyone ever heard of the SMART acronym as it applies to goals? Okay, very good. And for the rest of us, I'm going to go through it for you. Here's what it means. Goals should be specific. Goals should be measurable. They should be attainable, realistic, and time-bound. Okay, just to use an example to help illustrate this particular principle, Using that example of physical well-being. Okay, you want to make it specific. It's a great goal to say I want to be in better shape. That's awesome. But it's not good enough. It's ambiguous. 
Okay, you'll never actually know if you got there or not. You need to make it specific. Here's a way to do that. If you're just starting out, maybe it's I want to run that 5K race. Okay, you want to run that 5K race. Now it's very specific. And because it's specific, we can now measure it. You're going to know whether or not you got there or not. Maybe you get to 1K, 2K, 3K, 4K, whatever it is, you can measure it. Okay, you want to make it attainable. Okay, if you're just starting out, you've got to have a program, maybe 12 weeks, 16 weeks, whatever it is, but a program to help make it attainable. Give yourself enough time to achieve it. Okay, make it realistic. Again, this is associated with how much time you're giving yourself, doing the things daily and intentionally that you need to do, okay, to make it realistic. It's probably not realistic, probably not, okay, to say I'm going to run a marathon tomorrow, especially if you haven't run in a few years, okay? So you got to make it realistic based on where you're at right now. Make it time bound. Most people shy away from this, and what I would offer you is that this is the most important when it comes to this acronym. You've got to make it time bound. People shy away because they're scared that if that date comes and goes and they haven't achieved the goals, well, then they failed. Here's what I'd say. Two things. One, failure can be very good. I'm not here to talk about failure today, but understand it can be a very good thing in your life in terms of motivating you to achieve it in the future. Okay, but the other thing is, is that if you set that date, it comes and goes, and you haven't fully achieved the goal, that's okay. Pick a new date out in the future, reset yourself, and what you are is better now than you were before. In that 12-week example, 12-week training program, if you maybe started off, you could only walk. You could only walk a half mile, then you got to a mile, three, you know, a couple miles, whatever it is, but you're better now. Now set a new date, go after that goal again, go after doing the things daily and intention that you need to do to achieve it, and you will get there. Principle number one was write them down. Principle number two was work on them. And finally, principle number three was make smart goals. In conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, here's what I want to leave you with. Number one is write them down. You've got to write them down. Make plans to achieve them. Okay? What I would tell you is do the smart with your top three that I had you write down in the beginning. You might want to refine them now based on the things we've talked about, but take your time, think about your top three, and use a smart process for that, and then work on your plans every single day. Notice I didn't say think about them. Although that's very good, that's just not good enough. You've got to actually work on them. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my presentation. Thank you so much. Have a great day.